Hello, good morning. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Musa Biju Creation. This is your host, the professor of mathematics, Smile Musa. I wish to talk about mathematics language. There is a lady who spoke about mathematics language in a Facebook account. And after reading some of the comments, it seems that they are making funny of the lady. So I am generating or I am producing this video with no offense to anybody, but just to enlighten you about the mathematics language. Well, it's our forte. So allow me to share of what we talk about mathematics language good evening no, kidding aside what she means probably is taking care of her mother anyway going back to mathematics language now here's my tutorial on mathematics language in italiano victory they speak in mathematics language. You're not speaking Italian? They speak in mathematics? No. Why? The mathematics language is very, very good. Yes, the lady. I, well, she's talking about mathematics language so because she's catering please continue watching the language of mathematics math is like any other language you must first know the vocabulary to understand it to begin with let's start with some easy vocabulary okay so we have some Difference, product, quotient. So when you say sum, you add them up. Difference, you subtract them up. Product, multiply them up. Quotient, divide them up. Okay. So whenever you see these words, it means that the problem wants you to perform is a mathematical operations. Now let's go over some less common math term that you're likely to see during your school years or your in the semester no so we have mean denominator numerator okay so what are mean these are actually average no add up all the numbers and divide by the numbers for example what is the mean of 2 4 6 8 and 10 when you done that, when you add them up it's 30 so basically the average will be 30 divided by 6 is 5. While denominator, these are bottom part of a fraction. So what is the denominator of 2 thirds? 3. Numerator, these are top part of a fraction. So what is the numerator of 2 thirds? 2, of course. Okay. Fractions, don't be afraid of fractions. Fractions, this give, it gives you a quotient. There are simply divisions and nothing to afraid of. For example, what is the quotient two third? So meaning to say you are to divide two divided by three. Now, per divide, per is simply division, no. So you are to. It's another way of saying divided by. Example given, in the classroom, there are two girls per two boys. Ratio it means quotient. A ratio is simply one number divided by another number. If there are two girls per three boys, what is the ratio of girl to boys? So, two is to three. Okay? So, language of mathematics. Now, another term that is common in the language of mathematics is formula. It means you are calculating a result. 
we have example. Measurement. Measurement is another term. No? Measurement is a way to give a physical property a number. For example, your height is a measurement how tall you are. Okay? Power. Assigning an exponent. Uh, for example, two-third power means two raised to three or else equivalent to eight. Reciprocal. Uh, reciprocal is another term. Another word in mathematics. So, reciprocal is a fraction flip upside down. Choop. Now, the language of math, there are many symbols that we use. Often in mathematical problems, it involves actually the use of symbols. Now, we have D, which is delta, means change in something. Uh, we have also open parentheses, close parentheses. We have the the division that is pair is commonly said pair. Okay, equal is usually equal to. Then we have approximate, and we have the carrot, or simply means to the base power. Okay. Now another is scientific notation. Now do not be afraid of because it's science. It's scientific notation. Don't be afraid. Uh, scientific notation is simply a way of expressing exponents. No? Example, you have 1 billion. So if you are to write 1 billion, 1, 3000, 000, 000. So how many zero after 1? Yes, you're right, 9. So in scientific notation, instead of writing 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, we write 1 times 10 raised to 9. Now, another thing is metric measurement. In physics, as well as in all other sciences, especially in mathematics, we use SI system of measurement. This is to be sure that all scientists use the exact same way to measure things. In the SI system, length is measures in meters represented by small m. Mass, not weight, is measured in grams. G, no? Small g. Time is measured in seconds. Volume is measured in liters, small l. Ah, dai. Maintindihan mo na kung ano ang mathematics. Meron, no? Tama na. Hindi ko na naintindihan. Dami mong sinasabi. But anyway, let us remind them. Okay? Things to always remember. Meaning, you are to write this down. Remember, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally or PEMDAS. No? So, what are these? These are actually mathematical operations. No? These are order for all mathematical problems. So, you begin with parentheses, then exponents, then you multiply, then you divide. You add and subtract. That's the order of operation. Okay. So you have to keep that in mind. Now, another thing that you have to keep in mind, always to remember, is the famous king in England, no? King Henry. Now, King Henry died by drinking chocolate milk. Yes. So, King Henry died by drinking chocolate milk. It's easy to recall, right? King Henry died by drinking chocolate milk. So actually, it's K H D D D C M. That's actually the, the prefix for some unit. No? So when you say K kilo, one thousand times the base. H hecto, one hundred times the base. Capital D, deca, 10 times the base. Base unit, then you have the deci, which 0.1 times the base unit. Centi, 0 0.01 times the base unit. Milli, 0 0.001 times the base unit. Okay, so you have millimeter. So that's 0 0.001 of a meter. Okay? Now, uh, another famous saying in mathematics you have to keep in mind is what we call the
the golden rule of mathematics. What do does to one side of the equation, you also have to do it, must also do to the other. Okay? So there is balance, the left and the right side of the equation. So this is the single most important thing to remember. Keep that in mind. You know mathematics language. I call you back later. The substitution. Okay. Because I'm the catering to my mother. My mother is the, bad stroke. The multiplication. That's mathematics Hi, language. Baby. Bye. What the lady say. Have you? No. Nakakaloka. Kalma bashers. Wala akong ginagawang masama. Ayan. Paano makibigyan ko sa K5? Kalma po. At ka lang. Malapit ko nang ipalabas yung ano. Yung mathematics language. Language. Watch yung mga video ko. Dahil on the way na siya. Irelis ko na siya sa ano. Sa sa Pilipinas. Kalma lang kayo. Bye! Thank you! O oh, ayan. Tinapos ko na yung mathematics language niya. Pero yung time na pa rin natin yun sa kanya. Uh, if you want to have more of this video, uh, and no nonsense video, really, the concept of the LCD, please subscribe.